What's going on everyone? It's your favorite blue guy here. Now, the Hypixel server has a lot to its name. It has a lot to be proud of in terms of how it's been able to enhance and define what can truly be done in Minecraft. Along with every server that exists, however, it also has its issues. A lot of people will likely state that Hypixel's kryptonite is its cheaters. It's the largest server, so naturally it's gonna have the largest amount of them. Nowadays, the way that cheaters are mostly dealt with is a system called Watchdog. Many people nowadays will tell you that Watchdog is inefficient. They will say that Watchdog is unhelpful, that the server would be better without it, and instead of using Watchdog, use an anti-cheat developed by another outside party. They will say constantly false bans, spread crazy sounding theories, among other things. Are these theories actually true? Is Watchdog a giant failure? Is it time for the server to move on? Are players in the right for being skeptical about it? Before I share my thoughts, I would truly appreciate the subscription if you haven't already. I'm able to make far more frequent content like this with each subscriber, and that's super helpful. It only takes one click of that button. Okay, I might as well break down how the server used to deal with cheaters before Watchdog. At first, it was as simple as it sounds. There was no big or special method. The server was small enough to the point where it wasn't necessary. Good old no cheat plus. As it started to get bigger, however, it was clear that changes needed to be made. So what ended up happening? Cyborg staff happened. No, 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 no. The name and picture you see are not made up. Both were used to describe it. For real, like actually. This, this is a real thing that happened on the server at one point. So as far as I'm aware, this was the first big change to the server that was solely dedicated to catching hackers. I still kind of don't understand it, but it would essentially take a player detected and put them in the database. The really funny part about this is that the database was public. Anyone could view it at any time. It was essentially the biggest guilty instance of public shaming I've ever laid eyes on. Today's staff would probably be livid. Regardless of that, I don't think the system lasted for a super long time. This was introduced back in June of 2014, a mere 15 days before I officially joined the forums by the way. They then introduced updates to their cheat detection as time went on. These would often be announced as little blurbs and change logs. While I wasn't able to find exactly when Watchdog was first announced, I do recall that it was at one point called The Beast when it was being hinted at by the team. The first instance of any kind of ban wave happening was found in an announcement form from June of 2015, so I have to assume this is when serious work was being done on it. Finally, in January of 2016, Watchdog was officially introduced, alerting that in a few days, the system would officially activate. Obviously, everyone at the time was super happy about this, and I mean, why wouldn't they be? The first three official Watchdog ban waves were announced via its own thread, and then from that point on, Watchdog hasn't looked back. As of April 8th of 2022, Watchdog has banned a total of 7.8 million plus accounts compared to the manual banning of 3.1 million accounts via staff. Those are both pretty impressive numbers. The combined total is probably more than every single account from Mindplex combined. So what's up? Why do so many players in the community deem Watchdog as inefficient? I mean, we've seen the stats, right? It's clearly doing something here. From what I've seen these past few years, I think the main criticism that people bring towards Watchdog is that it doesn't ban hackers instantly. Instantly being the key word there. The community seems to have these super impossible expectations, and the instant those aren't met, it's deemed as a failure, despite all the good it has done. When that's not the reasoning being used, it can be an I got false banned by Watchdog, therefore it sucks, or it's an it's not banning this specific cheater I reported, or it has to do with Skyblock and involves boosting in some way. Now, to this date, I have yet to see one actual valid critique of Watchdog that doesn't involve either a blanket statement, a surface level statement, bias towards getting getting banned, a one-time incident, or a mixture of any if not all of the above. Every time there have been major false ban waves associated with Watchdog, the team does acknowledge it. They make an entire thread, they list how many people were affected, they list what caused the bans to happen, and then they undo them. Do false bans happen outside of this? I mean, of course they do. That's the little reason that there's an appeals section. Those appeals all looked into, by the way. I don't really understand why people think they aren't. I do want to divert your attention to the following. Notice the bold letters there? You guys see them? Okay, I'm just making sure. They're pretty specific regarding how mod usage in Watchdog works. You can't say that there's no warning, because those are some pretty hefty ones. It's the reason I stuck around with a vanilla client for nearly a decade. To those who are saying something along the lines of, what leeway do you have here? Why should we take what you say seriously? Well, I mean, look at the facts. I'm coming on nine years in the community, including six plus in the Watchdog age, and I have yet to be banned by it. For how easy some people make getting banned by it seem, why have I never been banned? 
I mean, that's just a thought. That is all for today. I hope you guys got a kick out of the video. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Was there something I said you maybe disagree with? Let me know. Also, you should totally download my new texture pack, Blue Fault. Link is in the description. I hope you guys have a great afternoon, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Like him inside and outside.